when I when I played this to my producer in Nashville, I didn't think that he was going to like it because I, I thought he's never going to know where Virginia Street is or anything. But he he insisted that I recorded this one, and it's uh, it's kind of been the most played on the radio and stuff off uh, off my new record, and it goes like this. We knew that we were all we had Virginia Street and Bliss Sitting by the fireplace well, I don't really know how it's, uh, you know, how I've managed to get by sometimes because I, I don't know any um, any technical side of music. I, I don't know um, necessarily what chords I'm playing. Um, but one of the things that's important is that even when, if you're at that stage where you don't know what you're playing and stuff, that you can still write songs and uh, you shouldn't let it stop you. Love can be a lonely place. I tend to record everything, especially now that you've got, you know, everybody's got phones with voice recorders on them. And I encourage people to do that, even if it's just a daft wee idea that you've got, you know, and it might just be a, a phrase, a, a title, or just a melody. Um, just record it, because you just, you never know when, it, when you're going to need it. Didn't have much, but made ends meet. You know, it's a... Uh, I think it all, it's great now you've got the internet. I mean, it's one of the best things about music is now we have this. It's also one of the worst things as well because I always think that the great thing about the internet is that anybody can make a record. And the worst thing about the internet is that anybody can make a record. <laughs> so. Valentine's Day in New York. And one of the things that, that I found going to art galleries was that if you went and looked at paintings, and some of them had brilliant titles, um, so I would steal them and uh, make songs up about what that title meant. And uh, I, I got loads of songs out of that. Uh, so just, I think it's just kind of keep you know keep your radar up when you're um, when you're looking to write songs. It's just be open to things. It's quite enjoyable, I uh, learned quite a lot about composition uh, and I'm more open now I think to composing with other writers. I think uh, before I was a bit shy of it but seeing that he's done that and it's yeah, done so well I think it's quite a good idea. Yeah, his music is definitely more lyrical and you know, trying to get a, a different sound out, it's just sort of songs you have to construct the lyrics for and it's definitely stuff that well, if you listen to enough can bring a tear to you. It's nice also to talk to him and hear the story behind of what was behind that music as well. Uh, like when you're when you're listening to songs yourself and you don't know the artist, you have to figure these things out yourself. But it was nice to talk to him about that sort of stuff as well. Yeah, no, it's, 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 it's fun. Yeah, it's a good day. Definitely interesting to to listen to these people. So it's, uh, give you a bit of inspiration for music, you know. If music is what you want to do, then I don't think you shouldn't let anybody stop you. Valentine's Day in New York. Thank you. Thank you.